You can kimchi anything. No, really, anything. <clears throat> TNC applies as long as it's edible and legal. But for most people, kimchi is leafy napa cabbage covered in spicy chili sauce. And you're right, but it's just a version of thousands of variations that exist. And borrowing the words of New York Times food columnist Eric Kim, you need to think of kimchi as a verb, like pickling. And just like how there are many variations of pickling, from sauerkraut, bread and butter, and Japanese rice bran pickles to kimono, kimchi is the same. You can make kimchi with any local ingredients, even with fruit. Fast kimchi with little to know fermentation time, white kimchi with no chili peppers, tungchimi aka water kimchi, and so on. Kimchi is so cool these days. It's hailed as a superfood to promote gut health and boost our microbiome, but really it was developed for survival. It was a way for people to endure cold winter months where food was scarce to preserve food for as long as possible. So if you're making kimchi for the first time, experiment with what is best available around you and in season. I'm currently in Denmark and thought, why not make this kohlrabi kimchi with beautiful summer produce? So if there's anything you should take away, it's that